show security videos on securing your Office 365 environment, we're going to talk about global admin accounts. We talked already about how to secure global admin accounts using multi-factor authentication, using PowerShell or the GUI, but what's the best policy when creating them, or have, how many to have? In an organisation, it's best practice not to have more than five global administrators, but no less than two. It's important to have more than one in the case that one's lost, compromised, or simply the user forgets the password. It means that someone can easily get back in and get that account reset or blocked out as soon as possible. When creating a global admin account, or any sort of administrator account for that matter, I always try to create a separate account. In this case, you would have your administrator having their day-to-day -day account that they use for email, office apps, etc. And then an unlicensed, privileged account that they use for administrative duties within the Office 365 portal. I personally separate these out normally by prefixing the display name, GA underscore, as well as the username. So for example, mine would be GA underscore Chris dot Armstrong at circlecloud.co.uk. I would then assign no product licenses and then assign the global administrator role. When considering administrator accounts, it's also worth considering does that user need to be a global administrator? In quite a lot of organisations, IT staff are separated out into different roles. Office 365 now comes with the customised administrator option straight from the create account section. So for example, a help desk person may only need the ability to reset passwords and change mailboxes. We would just give them the exchange administrator and password administrator option. This then only allows them to perform these duties without being able to make tenant-wide changes that could affect your organisation. For any more tips on setting up your Office 365 organisation, securing it, or any general consultancy options, get in contact with us on the normal page. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.